Miles and Larry talk about mutt and withered horses. Okay, we had a lot of girls um, and guys asking about mutt and withered horses on here, so Dad's going to explain what a mutt and withered horse is and what we do for a mutt and withered horse as far as fitting their back. Well, mutt and withered horse is, of course, a full shoulder, comes off the shoulder and it just, there's no wither there, but you've got a flat object. And uh, the bottom of our bar has got just a little bit of a dome on it. Not much because we've shaved them all off. But what we do with the mud and weather, we don't go wide. We go a little bit wide. It kind of depends on the horse. But it's mainly what we do is we go on the bottom of the bar and we shave it off flat. And then that way, it's kind of like putting a round ball on a flat object. If you push on the ball, it's eventually going to make contact to the wither. But right in the middle where the ball's round, it's going to make more pressure, right. like a silver dollar sight. So what we do go in there and it's be kind of like you, if you took a ball and shaved the uh, you know the very bottom of it all set it on a flat object it's going to make full contact right because your bar pad's about four and a half inches in diameter so that's what we do on a mutton withered horse more than anything and nine times out of ten if a mutton withered horse they're pretty strong in the front end so then we widen the back end out a little bit more to get that more balance but to keep a saddle from rolling on a mutton withered horse is you got to have a flat bar to make uh, surface uh, pressure evenly so that's that's simple. It really is. It's a simple deal. Okay, and then say like, uh, how would you pad a mud horse? Very little, half inch okay. on a barrel saddle. I mean, a barrel saddle does not need to be padded much at all. The the new pad that we got out there, well, it's not new. We've had it out ten years, but our balance pad is really good. That's why I designed the balance pad for a mud with a horse, so that we make good contact, close contact, release the pressure where the pressure is, and that way it releases everything, and we can eliminate dry spots and stuff like that. But that's that's what we do on dry spots. It's not as tough as what it sounds like.